So I want to do a, a quick refresher with you uh, about the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, aspects of the autonomic nervous system. Now, you may or may not know the sympathetic nervous system gets its name because of the Greek sim meaning with and pathos meaning feelings. So that's where we also get the word sympathy from. So the sympathetic nervous system gives you these very powerful feelings, these uh, feelings associated with fight or flight responses, the racing heart, the knots in the stomach, strong feelings of anger and fear. Your sympathetic nervous system, really uh, one of its main roles is to mobilize you for action. It's mobility, it mobilizes you for fight or flight responses in the presence of threat. The fight responses gives rise to these very strong feelings of anger, frustration, and so forth and all the relatives of anger uh, and the, the flight responses give rise to kind of fear and anxiety and all the, the various relatives of fear. The parasympathetic nerve, para means against and so gets its name because the parasympathetic nervous system tends to kind of relax you. It puts you into chill out mode. Parasympathetic nervous system is often characterized as uh, rest and digest, feed and breed. So it helps you rest and recuperate and relax and chill out. It helps you to digest your food and absorb all the nutrients from your food and metabolize well, feed and breed. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for all your sexual responses and having good sex and loving and cuddling and all this kind of stuff. It's very complex, the interaction between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. I'm really kind of simplifying here, but certainly for our intents and purposes it's useful to just kind of think about sympathetic is really these nerves come out of the thoracic spine go to various areas in the body they activate our muscles for fight or flight response they speed up our heart rate they get our circulation going they increase our alertness and awareness and of course they cause a release of adrenaline so the sympathetic is responsible for mobilization fight flight response the parasympathetic rest digest feed and breed, relaxing, chilling out. The most salient feature of the parasympathetic nervous system is the vagus nerve. This huge whopping great nerve, the vagus nerve is the, uh, the second largest nerve in the whole body, second only to the spinal cord itself. It's called the vagus nerve because vagus is Latin for wandering. The nerve wanders, it comes out of the brainstem and it wanders all around your kind of chest, your heart, your lungs, and down into the, uh, the organs uh, below the, the diaphragm. So we're going to have a look at the interplay of these uh, in a bit more depth through the next few videos, but just uh, uh, keep that in your mind for now. The sympathetic is about mobilization, getting active fight or flight responses in the presence of threat, and parasympathetic is about immobilization. It's about slowing down. Feed, breed, rest and digest.